Hi, I'm Lucienne and I'm going to show you how you can make from EMB an ESA motif. I open my program and on the toolbox I open Digitize. Then I go to File and I say Open Design and now I have to insert one of this one. And it will be that one. So I can click on it once and click on Open or I can click on it twice and it will open. It will open right away in Digitize. So here it is and Patricia used the hoop. I don't want the hoop so over here I click on this little arrow and I say no hoop. On your right side in the sequence docker you can see that she branched it. So we leave it as it is because this is ready to make a motif. Always check by putting a guideline, left mouse click here, putting a guideline on the first stitch. This is the first stitch. So the guideline will be there and the opposite side will be the last stitch. So select it, click on reshape and see if your last stitch is touching the guideline. It needs to touch the guideline in order to make it a good motive. Click on select and zoom out. Now we will make a motive. So while it's selected click on motive and I make a new category and I will name this category test bear. Okay, and it's my first test, so I name it number one. I have a crosshair cursor, but you may have a normal cursor, I don't know. Make sure your cursor is on the left side of the pattern, on the dot in the, in the middle. Left mouse click, hold your control key down for a straight line. Go to the right and click on the opposite also. And now the test pair has created. So deselect it and here you see your motive. So the motive is done and it will be in your motive list. So if I click here on motive you will see here the category test bear and here you see the pattern. With the pattern you can do nice things. What we will do first is we're going to make a circle, a fill, and we go to motive. And here in the category I will search for test. Test beer. And there it is. Left click, drag, I don't want it too big. Release your mouse button and enter twice. And here is your little bare circle. You can make it bigger by left mouse click here, hold your shift key down and drag. Don't worry, everything will stay the same except you have more motifs inside the circle. The stitches are the same. What I don't like is the space between this part and that part and the third part. So this is the line of the motif and that is a line of the motif. So I don't like that and I will change that. I will zoom in and I will put my uh, raw spacing on 75. So the space space between the rows is better now. You can make a little bit more but I, that's okay. Now you see here a little jump. That means that I need to change the column spacing as well. I will put that on 71, enter and this is much better. 
you will not notice this. So this is it. The next video will be about how to make a motif from an image that you want to use as a background image. So good luck and I hope you succeed.